Hello and welcome back to Thomas Talk. This week there's been a lot of news regarding the upcoming special The Great Race. Most of it came out of a news release from Australia, which revealed not only some new characters, but some footage from the upcoming movie. Introduced to us was Australian engine Shane. He is based on a real Australian locomotive, and there was a bit of a write-up about that locomotive in the article. It is unknown yet who will voice him, but he definitely looks like an interesting character. We also got a little video for Shane, a profile video that was narrated by Rob Rackstraw, was also included in the article, and it'll be exciting to see what it'll look like for all the other characters and what characteristics they decide to describe to us. In this article, there was also a behind the scenes video in which the producers and writers of the show were interviewed, as well as some of the voice artists, and some behind the scenes footage was also shown of the voice artists doing their work, of the producers working together, and of the animation studio. It was kind of cool to see this video. We haven't really seen one like it before. So it was very interesting to watch, and it gave us some insight into the characters and the upcoming movie. Now finally, the big spectacle was the brand new trailer for The Great Race. In it, you see a lot from the upcoming special. We still don't know an exact storyline from the trailer. We do know one from other press releases, but the trailer doesn't give too much away, but it does look very interesting. Some key pieces that people took away from the trailer was the inclusion of the Flying Scotsman and the behind the scenes footage saw him call Gordon his little brother, which is very interesting. And I think that's a little tidbit from the Railway series as well. Other highlights included three Class 08 diesel shunters that were in the background. They were British Railway style, painted ERS or something, and no one knows if they have faces or not. In some shots it looks like they have faces, but other shots it looks like they don't. Now it is confirmed that there will be 13 brand new international engines in this upcoming movie. There will be a slideshow of them playing beside me, and it'll be very interesting to see how each of these characters are developed. We have characters from France, and from Belgium, and from all over the place. It's really interesting. We have some more new characters that have been introduced, and it's really exciting to see all of them. Now the one nationality thing that nobody really knows yet is, where is Vinny from? It was originally described as a Canadian engine, but now Vinny is described as a North American engine, and many fans have pointed out that Vinny's class didn't really work in Canada. Wherever Vinny's from, I'm sure that it'll be very interesting to see how they develop his character, and he's described as a bully, so it'll be cool to see what they do with that as well. Now there is a link to the trailer in the description below. You can click on it. There's also a link to the behind the scenes video for your interest. This special looks really, really interesting and I'm very much looking forward to watching it. Now Tina Desai, I think that's how you say her name, was revealed as the voice actress for Ashima. Now I know of Tina, I've watched her in The Best Exotic Marigold Hotel 1 and 2, and she's a very good actress. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what she does with this character. So a lot of the great race information just come out at once, which is very surprising since we haven't gotten a lot of information. And it's all here all of a sudden, and it looks very exciting, and I'm really looking forward to it. Some fans are a little skeptical, some say that they don't like the fact that they're introducing international characters, or 13 to them and you know that it's all for toys or whatever but I'm not really looking at that I'm looking at the storyline which we don't really know how that will be developed until we see the movie so I think I'm not going to jump to a conclusion all I'm gonna say is that I'm really looking forward to this movie and that's this week's Thomas news in a nutshell we will be back next week hopefully with some more news and until then we will see you all next time